Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, statement by the press secretary of the government of Western Armenia, Anush Harutunyan. The enemy's program is to devastate the villages of Artsakh and enter and seize the heights. There is no other urgent problem than ensuring the safety of the population, head of Karmishuka community. Today is the day of signing the illegal Russian-Turkish treaty. NASA's agenda is again like fun. Let's recognize Western Armenia once Maher do. Tribute to Miss Louis Kiefer Sarian. On March 16, 2022, the press secretary of the government of Western Armenia, Anush Harutinian, in her statement spoke about the medals and orders awarded both to the participants in hostilities and for merits of the formation of Western Armenia and its prosperity. Read the full article on our official website. The tension on the border of the last days in Artsakh is not an ordinary tension and not a provocation of Azerbaijani side, but it's a special operation. It is reported from the Artsakh that the enemy has been trying to seize the heights between the villages of Khramort and Khanabad with a target and special actions for several days in a row. We are talking about Karagluk Height, having gained control over which the enemy will take all the Askeran region under its sights and will be very easy to capture Stepanakert. The enemy's program is very simple, to evacuate villages then enter and take possession of the peak. The Karmishuka community of Martin region or Republic of Artsakh, which has become a border community, continues to live despite provocations from the enemy. According to the head of the community, Narek Atayan, shots from Azerbaijani positions placed on the territory of neighboring Taghavart community are also heard in the village, but all this does not prevent the everyday life of the village from going on as a normal. The main shots are fired on March 11 to 12 at night. The voice was heard among us, but fortunately there were no losses. With the help of the loud recordings, they are trying to create fear among the population, Atayan said. According to him, at the moment the most urgent problem is the issue of population safety. In the Russian-Turkish Brotherhood and Friendship in 1921, an agreement was concluded on March 16 between Kemalist Turkey and Soviet Russia. According to this illegal argument, Armenia should have had only 10,000 square kilometers of territory left. During the negotiations on both the Moscow and Kars treaties, Turkey insisted on fulfilling the terms of Alexandria Paul Treaty. It took a lot of effort for the Turkish side's demands to be rejected. It should be noted that international law has clear requirements for the legality of of any international treaty. The examination of international law showed that Moscow treaty is illegal and invalid since, at the time of signing the agreement, none of the delegations was authorized to speak behalf of the country. The Russian Bolsheviks and Turks Kemalist delegation have not yet represented the authorities of their countries. The treaty was set in violation of several binding, indisputable provisions that have been enforced for centuries. One of the natural resources of Western Armenia, Lake Van, attracts cosmonauts with its unique form of the Kostrodrome. The image of Lake Van from space was the first to be selected at an online photo contest world tournament organized by the U.S. Aerospace Agency. This time, Lake Van has attracted the attention of Russian cosmonauts. Cosmonaut of the Federal Space Agency of Russia, Oleg Artemov, took a video of the lake seen from space. The Russian cosmonaut also photographed the Iranian Lake Urmia. In Western Armenia in Van, a cave called the Maher Dur is located on an altitude of more than 50 meters above the ground. The stairs led to the entrance. There is another underground building at the foot of the rock. The entrance to the Maher Dur is known for the cuneiform inscriptions of the religious nature, which was engraved during the time of King Sishbuhin and Menua. Artificial caves and extensive buildings dug in the rock of Van were also widely known. People call the Maher Dur the area of which is covered with poles. The door of Maher is also called the Crow Stone, which according to legend is associated with the epic David of Sassoon. On behalf of Western Armenia and all Armenians living abroad who follow me, I want to sincerely pay tribute to the great representative of the community who for decades for her book condemned the violent denial of the genocide carried out by the Turkish state against the Armenians. Her name is Louis Kiefer Sarian, whose family is from Bursa. She passed away at the age of 96, leaving more than 210 articles dedicated to the holy cause of the Armenians. Let's pay tribute to this sensitive woman who has worked in the shadows for many years. Thank you, Louise. After so many sacrifices, rest in peace. Our respect for you, Jane Ekian. 
I had the opportunity to get to know Louise Kiefer Sadian. She was unconditionally devoted to the Armenian people and will always remain in our thoughts. Western Armenia, its people, parliament and government express their condolences to her children and loved ones. Armena Gabramian, President of Republic of Western Armenia. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.